Right, everyone, so you may be wondering why I have a blue Yeti X right in the middle of my screen. Well, this is because this Christmas I got a brand new microphone. So today I'm going to run through what some of these settings do, and I'm also going to run through, I'm also going to give my opinion on this microphone. Because I've had it for a few weeks now, and, it, and I'm actually, uh, I'm, I'm just going to give my uh, personal opinion on it. So, and I'll run through what it all does and etc so so you may be wondering why i've got this open so um let's get this started so i'm gonna click yeti x right so you can probably see on the side we've got a number of settings so um as you can see we've got the high pass filter setting noise reduction um and the expander gate so you can pause the video at any point if you want to read what these mean so So I can also do a mic test, so this is good if I'm testing to see what I sound like, playing back what I sound like, so we've got a voice equaliser as well as you can see. Pause the video at any point if you want, or rewind uh, to read these, but these are these, so I'm now going to go through the next bit. So. The actual microphone setting. So the mic gain is how much sensitivity how much sensitivity goes into the mic. So I have it on a low level right now, adjusted to my mic. I've got it at level of two. If I turn it right up, more will go into the mic and it will tend to get loud. The more I turn it up, you can see. So it can get really loud in the video. It gets all it picks up a lot. Like there's a lot of noise as well when I have it on a high gain. So I usually keep the gain quite down. It's good if I'm like whispering or being quiet, for instance. So what I tend to do is um, I tend to, tend to turn it up all the way, as you can see, if I'm whispering and stuff, or I have to keep quiet for whatever reason. So now the next thing, the pol um, polypathic stereo, it can be knee, it can be cardioid, or it can be directional. I tend to keep it for the most part at stereo, just to give it like that HD um, sound, if that all makes sense. So the next one is master output. Level. That's how much volume you want coming out of out of the mic. So um, you got your presets here. So I'm going to run through what each preset sounds like, and and they all sound different. So let me run through Broadcaster One. This is Broadcaster One as you're hearing right now. Broadcaster Two. This is Broadcaster Two right now. So different. Um, let me turn the sensitivity down, I forgot to do that. So this is Broadcaster 2, Broadcaster 1, Broadcaster 2, Classic Radio Voice, FM Station, High Voice Loud, High Voice Soft, Low Voice Loud, Low Voice Soft. And you've got the AM Radio, Crisp and Modern, and Warm and Vintage. You can see the settings adjusted, you can, you can always customise these too. Whichever you prefer, whichever you want to, just just your own uh, like, and you got your. As you can see, this has already enabled advanced controls, but to, to make life easy, I just go by the presets, as it tends to uh, make things easy. But you can customize these to whatever you want. Um, so you have got your different profiles here. So as you can see, these are just some profiles I have. Um, now we're going to go on to lighting. So what this does is. You can set the color to whether you what color you want it to when the microphone is on, so as it is now, or when the microphone is off. If I press the button, as it's mute state, the live effect you can set it to fixed or breathing. As you can see, you can make it breathe on and off. You can adjust the speed so that goes much faster. This goes very slow, which I'm just going to keep it at. Probably 2,000 milliseconds. Mute effect, fixed. This is like static. As, as it says before, if it's breathing, it's like breathing as it is now. So I'm just going to leave us as the, the color. It's LED, you can customize it to whatever color you like. I think it's RGB. And same with mute, you can adjust that to whatever you want. The mode, you can set different modes, whether you want it on microphone, headphone mode, 
um, direct monitoring, that's both of them. Um, so a third effect allows you to play back what you're, like, I believe it allows you to play back to what, you, you know, you're trying to, you know, if, if you plug in the mic, a headphone uh, jack into it and you play it back, you can play back to listen to what you sound like, and it's, 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 it's very useful, I have to say. Metering, uh, this is like how the louder you get, you know, it changes colour. So normal level of, um, normal game level is green. So that's like in the right place. I'm just going to turn this down a little. As now I'm in the yellow a little bit, but mostly in the green. The high, the orange is um, we're sort of going a little bit over, just like a little bit over. So that's high gain from the mic. So if I turn it up and peak, of course, that is maximum. So if I turn it up, for instance, it's nearly hitting the peak. Where at this point it is now hitting the peak. It's hitting the red dot. So but you can customize these to whatever you like, as I said. And this one is if you have a uh, um, headphone plugged in, you're playing back uh, what you sound like. So, you know, that, 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 that's very useful to have that as well. So that's pretty much the settings um, I've been going through. So now let me run through what, um, what my personal opinion is of this mic. I mean, I've had it for the last three weeks and personally I'll just turn down the just right quick. Personally I think it's really good. I'm really happy with it. Um although I've had this for the last few weeks. It's been a really good mic, especially when filming videos and um um hosting live streams or, you know, just just um hanging out with friends in VCs and stuff. It's a really good microphone. I'm I'm personally really happy with it uh, for the most part. And how it's adjustable, how I can mute by just simply pressing uh, the button here. So I'm I'm happy with that. I'm really pleased. And you can the adjusting the customizable settings. You know the presets, how, we, how it's customizable. Um, I find that I really like that. I think that's one good one good thing about this mic. However, I'm gonna list one or two things that are not perfect. As I said, not and nothing's perfect. So. There's of course going to be some um, disadvantages to this microphone. The one issue I've had with this microphone is even when I try and adjust it or move it closer to me, for instance, the mic disconnects itself. So it does get really annoying when um, when trying to like adjust it to like you know instead of turning up the um, the gains so that can be really annoying when I have to reconnect it. And it's, it's really difficult sometimes to even get it up and running. And then the presets and um, Let's say, for example, um, Discord or Hangouts or whatever I happen to use, um, they just go, they, they just reset. So whenever I join the VC, people will be wondering why they can't hear me. So that's one disadvantage of um, of this microphone, um, I will say. Um, another one I have to say is when adjusting it, it can be a little tricky, especially when you take the um, the adjusters out on the side it can be really hard to adjust and you can only talk out of like one direction pretty much so if you talk from like from the top of it or adjust the mic so it's you know it's not going to get much through so it's only of course one direction but it isn't really too much of a problem but i think mostly the adjustment can be tricky that's the one thing um, i'll say um is um limiting to this microphone but other than that you know putting that aside i'm happy with this microphone um it's really good you know I enjoy using it on live streams, voice channels when I'm chatting with friends, and and etc. It's a really good microphone. I'm um, and I'm really happy with it so far. So, yeah, that's my opinion on the um, Blue Yeti X microphone. So, yeah, uh, that's gonna call it for this video. So, thanks for watching. That's gonna be it.